Day 206. Did I lose weight this week on the carnivore diet? Welcome back. If you are new, my name is Karen and my husband Dan and I are trying to become as self-sufficient as we possibly can before we retire. One of the things that we're working on is our personal health. For me in particular, I have a lot of weight to lose because if we are not healthy when we retire, it's going to be really hard to be self-sufficient. So if this sort of thing interests you, go ahead and consider subscribing to our channel and leaving us a comment. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over my weight loss for the last week, and then I want to update you on my seven-month grocery comparison between living the standard American diet and living the carnivore lifestyle. Did we save any money? And lastly, I want to touch on a fairly new technology that I'm going to be picking up again. It's called Whole Body Vibration Plate Therapy. I'll go over how it works and what are the benefits. First, how much weight did I lose this week? I lost zero pounds. In fact, I gained a pound, but I know why. I am retaining a lot of water this week. I started a new job and there is so much to learn that I have not been drinking the same amount of water that I had been drinking on my other job every day. And also because I was mentally spent every day when I got home, I turned to something that I personally shouldn't be eating on the carnivore lifestyle and that is processed meat. While processed meat is acceptable on the carnivore diet, it does me no good. I always end up with a sluggish system and with water retention. But the convenience of that processed meat got to me this week. I do expect that I have actually lost some weight, but because of that water retention, it's not showing on the scale. So now I need to focus this week on getting rid of that water retention. But on a more positive note, I have not done a grocery cost comparison for quite a while. So let's compare the first seven months on this carnivore lifestyle to what we were spending in the same months last year eating the standard American diet. The yellow column on here shows the savings that we've had every month and I started the carnivore lifestyle this last July. So we've had a pretty good savings every month but I do think that um, it will be more accurate when we have an entire year's data to see what a yearly cost comparison um, would be. Because for example if you look at the month of October in October, we actually spent um, over $300 more in October this year than we did last year. And that has to do with where the good meat sales are falling at the grocery store. Because what I like to do is I like to wait for a great meat sale and then really stock up on that particular meat. So what it looks like to me is that in October, there were some really good meat sales and I spent extra money. But if you look at that total at the bottom in the first seven months of the carnivore diet, we have saved nearly $500 over our grocery bill in the same months last year. When you're not spending money on all of the junk and the processed foods and the fruits and veggies that a lot of times end up going bad in the refrigerator before you get to eat them all. There is a significant savings involved for us. Now let's change gears. If you have not heard of whole body vibration therapy, let me introduce that to you today. This is something that seems to have gotten more and more popular over the last couple of years. I got my vibration plate to do this back when I was trying intermittent fasting a couple of years ago, 
but I did not give it a good chance. I was kind of random at when I used it and I didn't use it a lot. So now I've pulled it back out and I've blown the dust off of it and I'm going to do it again. So what is it? This article from Shape Magazine was written by a certified personal trainer and a nutrition specialist and it kind of explains the technology and also goes over the benefits and some different vibration plate workouts that you can do. And I will link to this article in the description if you want to go and do further research on vibration plate therapy. Simply put, whole body vibration is about creating three things, movement, reactions to that movement, and gravity. Through vibrations, movement is created, and this puts our body slightly out of balance as we resist the extra gravitational pull created by the vibrations, requiring us to constantly engage our muscles in order to keep us upright. And that's from uh, Darnell Cox, an LA-based healthy aging coach and gerontologist. So my vibration plate moves my body from side to side and also vibrates and several times a second you have to balance yourself on that and so you're using several different muscles and and so it's got a lot of different benefits to it and I plan to use mine three to four times a week only for about 15 minutes each time but let me go over what are the benefits to whole body vibration therapy I had Google give me a list of benefits from around the web to vibration therapy. Now keep in mind that there have been a relatively small number of actual studies done on the effectiveness of vibration plate therapy. So more studies need to be done. But let's take a look at what the benefit claims are for vibration therapy. And I have highlighted in yellow some of the ones that I hope um, the vibration therapy is going to help me with. So those are muscle growth, circulation. I mean, you can imagine if you're, you know, vibrating back and forth and having to keep your balance that it would improve your circulation. Um, it's supposed to help with bone loss also balance obviously and I know I need that it stimulates the lymphatic system which is something I know that I need um, that way when my system gets sluggish this vibration therapy can help with that lymphatic system fat loss improving bone density lowering blood pressure um, greater flexibility helps with cellulite uh, better balance and coordination, weight loss, and metabolism enhancement. So that is a very interesting list, and I hope to take advantage of some of those benefits doing this three to four times a week. If you think you might want to try this, I do want to caution you to do your proper research. There are some people who should not be doing whole body vibration therapy, for example, if your health history includes a heart attack or a stroke, you should not be doing vibration plate therapy. Or if you have a pacemaker, you should not be doing the vibration therapy. And there are other conditions too that would make it not a wise choice to do vibration therapy. So make sure that you do your proper research before you try this and you may even want to consult your doctor because I am not a doctor. Thanks for sticking with me and I appreciate each and every single one of you. Please let me know how you are doing down in the comments of my video. Sometimes it does take me a few days to read all the comments, but I do read them and try to respond to each and every one. And I hope you do something this week that makes somebody else feel really good. See you next time.